By the end of the video, you will be able to build and sell AI agents to your customers and potential future customers. The template of the agent we are building in this video will be available for download completely for free. Whatever your technical background is, you will be able to use and adapt this AI agent to your and your customers' needs. The agent we are building will be able to understand incoming emails and questions from clients. It will get the correct answer from a knowledge base and return it to the client. If it does not know the correct answer, it will escalate that case to a human being. After the human being has answered that question, it will store the answer also in its own knowledge base. By that, the agent gets better and better over time. Quickly, the AI agent will become so powerful that it will free up time for yourself and for your customers. This may sound complicated, but you will be able to do it. No coding required. This video is not just about knowledge. It will empower you to take action. We founded a software company four years ago, and I can tell you AI made things so much easier. And you are still very early to the game. You have an unfair advantage if you get started right now. Now I will give you an overview of the system and then we will build it together in Relevance AI. Relevance AI is a no-code builder to build AI agents in a very comprehensive way. Our agent will be easy to build, yet it's very powerful. All right, so the customer sends a question to the business. This email triggers an AI agent. The AI agent has three different tools. Tool one, find an answer in the knowledge base. Tool two, add missing answers to the knowledge base and tool three, send respond emails to the customers. So very quickly, what is the difference between an AI agent and an AI automation? An AI agent is capable of anonymous decision-making, learning and interacting with its environment. While the AI automation uses AI to automate repetitive tasks without independent decision-making. Actually, you need both of them the AI agent for decision-making and the workflow or the automation whenever you have repetitive tasks. When you combine both, you can build very robust and powerful systems. All right, let's trigger the first email, send it out, and then check how the agent handled it. And then we go through it step by step. Before we send the email, I will show you our knowledge base because from here we will answer the email. And inside of Relevance AI, we have this knowledge base here. And inside of that, I have this FAQ table. And in here, we basically have some answers and some questions. So where is this basically coming from? This is not from a real customer. I just made a Google search and I came over this Thrive Market. And when you scroll down, they have a FAQ section. So what I did it, I just copied um, the question and the answer to it. And I copied that into our knowledge base. So the cool thing about this is if you have a potential customer around the corner or wherever you live, you can say, hey, I will copy your FAQs into our knowledge base. Then you can use this exact system for your customer and all emails that are coming in will be answered based on your customer. So that's very powerful. So you will just copy that in here. And then as I mentioned, whatever we cannot find inside of the database, we will add that manually during the process. And this is not just a database, so it will not just look up this question like word by word, and then will give exactly this answer back, but this is a, a vector database. So it will be able to reason where the question of the customer is closest to this, or maybe it's close to two of them, and then he will bring back the answer of both rows. So it's not a word by word thing. It's more, yeah, there's an AI behind it. There's a vector database. And in a future video, I can also explain more about vectors. And for you, it's good to understand right now is that um, it will be able to take out the correct answer and have some reasoning behind that. Okay, this being said, let's write the email. What is Thrive Market actually about and how can I benefit from it? No question mark here. So let's see if it recognizes that as, as a question. By the way, what are the opening hours? All the best, Philip. And then I jump over to our relevance AI. So our task just came in. I select it. And what you can see here, uh, this was the email that was coming in from myself. And he is performing three different steps. He already found, oh, okay, it was very fast. So he already performed these three steps. He found the answer of the first question. So I, it identified it as a question. It found it in the database and gave this respond. Then for the second question, 
it also went over to the database and found this one. And then in the end, it replied this very nice email. Hi, Philip, thank you for reaching out to us. Then the answer to the first question, as for our opening hours, we are open from Monday to Friday. All the best, the Thrive Market team. So it's a very nice email that's coming back. And as I said, you can really easily adapt this to your customers' needs. Just download the free template. Now let's send an email that's not in the database and see what it's doing here. Now I just respond to this email and say, all right, thank you for your response. Do you also ship during the Christmas holidays? So this question is not in our database. I will send it over and then we'll see what our agent will do about this. All right, I'm back to Relevance AI and what you can see here, now we have the new email coming in. Do you also ship during Christmas holiday? Then they performed Thrive Market email follow-up. FAQ Checker has escalated a task to you. We have connected Relevance AI to Slack. And now let's have a look how it looks in Slack. Now I'm in my Slack and I got this message from Relevance AI. As there's a question about Thrive Market. And the question was, do you ship during the Christmas holidays? This information is not available in the FAQ. All right, so I got this message. I can click this button, which will lead me back. Now I'm a customer service and I say, we are shipping 365 days a year. Just replied it to the agent. This will be stored into the database. So this goes back to the AI agent and the agent will then decide what will be next. So the agent is working, it says here. Now let's see what it's doing. It performs one step. It adds the FAQ entry to the knowledge database, and then it sends the final response. So in the beginning, humans have to interact with the system, but over a short period of time, there will be all answers in the database, and then it will go all automatically. And remember, it's very easy to adapt that to any other business. Just be creative here. All right, let's have a look how this actually works. So we go up here on Edit Agent. The agent has a name, it has a description. This description actually gets very important once you have sub-agents because the main agent or the manager agent needs to know to which agent to delegate the task. And now, how should this agent behave? And for that, we have the core instructions. The prompting is very important here to make sure that our agent is doing the job correctly. So we always start with a role. You are a follow-up agent for Thrive Market, responsible and so forth. I don't read everything out to you. You can just download a template. So we have the role, we have the objective. So what do you have to do? We have SOPs to be very, very precise. And then we always reference our tool here. So for example, retrieve answers from the FAQ database using find answer in FAQ table. And that's exactly the tool. You can always access the tool by hitting a dash and then you can find the tool here. We really in detail explain what the agent has to do. Then very important here, this step, if the question does not exist, escalate a question via Slack using escalate to manager. Await a response from the team. Once received, update the FAQ database using add FAQ entry to knowledge base with the new Q&A pair. So that's also a very important step also for your customers. Many customers worry about that an AI will just send any random emails out to their clients. So in every step, you can include a human check, which makes it very, very safe and also very convenient for the human checkers. Okay, after you have everything together, compose an email reply and then always have the standard closing, the Thrive Market, and in the end, send the email using Gmail. Then we give some context. We again explain the tools, the purpose of each tool, when to use each tool, and in the end, we give notes and things in the front and in the end of a prompt are very important. That's why I bring up the most important things again. And I really want to make sure that the AI agent is not sending any random information out. That's why I said you strictly used information provided in the trigger or tool outputs without making assumptions of hypercreating details. That's very important. Okay, then here we have the form builder. Here you could also bring in the steps in addition to the core instructions. In this case, we don't need it. The core instructions are very detailed and very precise already. Then we have abilities. 
Here we have to escalate to humans. And then we have the three different tools. We have the add FAQ entry to knowledge base. We have the find answer in a knowledge base and the tool send final response email to the customer. Let's go through it step by step. Up here, you can edit the tool. In here, you have three options. You can use the tool directly from here. You can build it and change it here. And you have any logs, error logs. You go to build. The title and subtitle are actually very important. The agent decides based on the subtitle which tool to use for the step. In this case, search the FAQ knowledge table for an answer to a specific question and return the answer. Or I don't know if no answer is found. The I don't know is actually very important because if it returns an I don't know, the agent can escalate the task to a human being and the agent will take this decision on its own. So we always start with inputs. In this case, we just have the question as an input and this question is then stored into a variable and it's filled by the agent. And then this variable is handed over to a large language model. In this case, it's ChatGPT, but you can replace this by any other language model. Prompting is very important here. So we start with the role. You are a world-class customer service representative. I will not read everything to you because you can just download a free template and then you have everything. So we hand over the question, the knowledge base, then we ask it to look up the knowledge base and if it finds a relevant answer, it should provide a friendly, professional and informative response. And then in the end, we define the output format. In this case, we want to have a JSON, a JSON object format. So we return this information back to the agent and then the agent decides what's the next step. Let's have a look at the next tool. In case we have a new answer, this answer needs to be added to the knowledge base to make our agent better and better over time. So in the build, this one is pretty easy. We receive the customer question. We receive the answer that was created by a human. And then we basically just insert that into our knowledge base. And last but not least, we have the send response. We again have a nice subtitle to explain what it's doing. And this tool will receive the inputs from the agent. We will receive an email body and save it to a variable. We receive the sender's name, the Gmail thread ID, and the recipient's email address. And with this, we are able to send out an email via Gmail. It's also possible via Outlook or other providers. We have just built an agent, a simple one, yet powerful. You may ask yourself, how can I sell this? The truth is that 96% of US-based businesses have not started with AI yet. That's not just a statistic, it's an opportunity. The need is there. Just let people know that you are able to do it. If you got any value from this video, please like and subscribe. And I would be very happy to welcome you into our free school community. You find the link below the video. There you have the free template of this agent and we have a free Q&A session every week with myself and our experts. See you inside.